Pakistan's stock market had a meltdown for the third day running, and the US dollar has reached at an all-time high against the rupee. This happens as public pressure mounts on the coalition government led by Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif as it marks one month in office. When Shahbaz replaced Imran Khan in April, Pakistan's economy was already on the brink. Economy is certainly in a very difficult phase. We have macroeconomic imbalances, which are chronic. They have gone to a level where our debt to GDP ratio is above 85 percent. Uh, we have a current account you know, deficit, which is half financed through our internal resources. And we need to pay almost 25 to 30 billion dollars in terms of our import bill, particularly the fuel bill. Pakistan's foreign reserves can only cover two months of the nation's import bill. And this has resulted in panic at the markets. The government of Shahbaz Sharif has promised to turn the economy around, but it seems to be struggling to take difficult decisions. The most unpopular decision the government will likely have to take is to withdraw the fuel subsidy. Hiking fuel prices is a prerequisite for any international monetary fund package that could bolster the economy. But the government has delayed the decision, seemingly worried about backlash from opposition supporters. The current government has come to power to address inflation and reduce oil prices. But if they increase oil prices on the IMF's orders, that would certainly be injustice. This current government is not capable of dealing with economic challenges. This is an important government, and it acts on the orders of its masters. Khurram Dastagir, a key member of the Prime Minister's economic team, admits the government is facing difficult choices. And the fact that probably unprecedented in Pakistan's history is that our usual source of support from abroad, uh, which is again our, our friendly countries, are now, because of previous government's severe credibility crisis, looking towards IMF to begin its program again. But to revive the IMF program, the government has to raise fuel prices, something that would likely further fuel ousted Prime Minister Khan's anti-government campaign. Kamran Yusuf, TRT World, Islamabad.